Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how I curl my hair. I recently posted a video on my Instagram uh, feed on how I blow dry my hair, and I had a lot of requests to show you how I curl my hair. So um, typically I dry my hair, and then the days following after, before I wash again, I will curl it. Um, so today is day two, where I blow dried my hair yesterday. I just got done working out, showering, getting dressed. This is kind of the state of my hair. <laughs> Nothing I should probably be showing on the internet, but hey, I'm here to help. It's all in good cause, right? So so when I take my hair down, this is what it looks like. Okay. Kind of crazy. It's very sweaty at the roots. Um, so the first thing I do is I just kind of comb through it. This is a comb I got from Dyson. Um, when I purchased the air wrap, um, you don't need to have this comb really just any like wide tooth comb will do you just fine. So I kind of just comb through my hair first. Now, if my roots are really sweaty, I will take a blow dryer and kind of blow dry on cool my roots. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I use the GHD blow dryer. I love this and I'm going to change it to cool since my hair is dry. I don't want to put a whole lot of heat on it and I'm just going to kind of, you know, dry out these sweaty roots. <laughs> Since I just washed my hair yesterday, it's really not that dirty. It's not like it's two or three day or like three or four day hair. It's really just kind of next day. So it's actually not too bad. Um, I probably could skip putting dry shampoo in right now, but I am going to put a little in because I want to show you guys what that looks like because tomorrow I will definitely be needing this. So I have a few dry shampoos that I like. Um, I really like this one by R & Co. It's just their Death Valley dry shampoo. I don't know. I really like it. I try not to spray too much. And I really just kind of spray it, you know, in the roots of my hair, top of my head, just to get a little, you know, extra volume. And I'll kind of run my comb through again. Okay, so now that my hair is brushed somewhat drier at the roots and I've got dry shampoo, then I'm going to go ahead and um, put it up to section it. So I just take a big old scrunchie and, you know, kind of put it so that this top part is up and out of the way. And then I'm going to work in sections. I like to kind of pull my hair and separate it so that I have it, you know, on both sides. Now, I love this curling iron. I feel like this is my secret. This is the GHD Curve Curling Iron. I also love the T3. You guys have seen me talk about that one in the past. Um, the T3 gives me very big curls, lots of volume. I have really thick hair, so sometimes I don't want that much volume because I kind of get it already. This, I feel like, gives me more of the softer wave or it just helps me control how big my curls get. Um, I also love that I can slide this down my hair and it doesn't pull my hair or snag my hair. I really, really love this. It's very easy to use um, and it is, you know, it does have the clamp so it's not a wand. So I don't put anything in my hair before I curl it. I do have a finishing spray that I will show you guys at the end. But the first thing that I do is I take a little section of hair. I try not to take too big of sections. Um, so I take a little section of hair. I take my curling iron and I always curl away from my face pretty much every curl that I do. I know some people say, you know, away and then forward and away and a forward and it gives you a beachy look. I don't know. I just curl away. That's how I do it. So I start kind of at the root and I slide it down one pass kind of quickly. That's just going to kind of smooth it out. It's also going to help kind of uh, smooth any humidity or frizz that I have in my hair and keep in mind I work out in the morning so I always have some sweat in there so it helps me kind of smooth that out after I and I don't keep it long I just pass it real quickly after that I'm going to put my curling iron I like to start closer to the root of my hair um, I was told by my stylist that if you start your curl there, you get more volume here versus having it flat and then more volume down here. So um, I'm going to show you guys, but I want to talk through it first because I don't want it to sit on my hair too long. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to start to curl it and then you'll see me kind of pull down. Okay. So I put it up here. Now I'm going to kind of start to curl it while it's up there. So I still have this long piece. Then I'm going to kind of slowly release it a little bit so that I can pull it down and I'm gonna pull it down. Now I don't, I don't leave it in there too long, you guys. That was actually probably a little bit longer than I normally do. So this is kind of the curl you get. Now I'm gonna go and do that on all sections. Slide it down, smooth it out. You get your curl going up here. Then you start to pull it down.
I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to comb it out or spray any product in it. I'm just going to kind of let it cool on its own. Start to curl it while it's still high up there and then kind of slowly pull it down. Now I know I'm talking about curling it up here and starting the curl up there. I want to show you what I mean versus like another way to curl it. So one way to curl it is you can kind of, you know, do the pass like I do and then pull it down here and then curl it up. So do you see the difference? This is a different style of curl. Okay. I'm starting the curl while it's close to my roots, then pulling it down versus starting it low and pulling it up. Does that make sense? Okay. So now that I've got all of these curled, I'm just going to kind of put it back there and I'm going to go and grab another section. So I first like to grab the section and I do like to run a comb through it just so it's not so messy. See that curl starting high and then kind of slowly pull it down. And I'm going to show you again the other way to do it. This is not how I, how I do it, but I want to show you the difference so you really understand what I'm doing. And not to say that this is the wrong way to do it. This isn't wrong. It's just a different way to curl your hair. But, you know, some people like to start down here and then curl up. That's not what I'm doing. I'm starting up, curling down. Does that make sense? <laughs> it just gives the curl a different look, I think, is what um, Gracie taught me. When I asked her, I asked her specifically, like, how do I get more volume here? Because I feel like my hair is so heavy that a lot of times it's so flat or it will, like, get weighed down here and have bigger bulk here. And I don't want that. So she told me to start the curl higher. I also want to say, you know, I know I mentioned this earlier, but it's really important for me that I don't leave the curling iron in any one place too long. If you notice, I'm constantly moving it. I'm not letting it sit in any one place too long. It's constantly sliding down or pulling out a little bit. Um, and that's gonna depend on your hair type too. Like I said, my hair is pretty thick and it's coarse and it tends to hold a curl really well, which you know is nice, but if I leave it too long, one is gonna damage my hair more and two, I'm gonna get too tight of curls and too big of curls and I don't want that but your hair might be different and you might need to hold it there a little bit longer. Now, when I start to get up here to the top of my head, like, you know, this isn't necessarily the crown, but it's kind of like the top portion of my, my hair. I really make sure that I don't grab too big of sections here. Again, my goal when I'm curling my hair is not to have gigantic curls and waves. I mean, I kind of do anyway, but the smaller that I make these sections, the more of that, that tousled like wave I get, that tousled curl, and that's really what I want. So I try and take my time and have some patience, which when you get to the top, that's like you're just ready to be done. But I do notice a big difference if I don't grab too big of sections. I just get a better look. Okay, so we have this last section here. So once I grab the last section, I kind of decide where I want to part it. Now this is where I'm like the most tempted to just grab big sections and be done, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Take my time. So kind of move it down and then I also pull down at the same time. Now I do wanna run my comb through this front piece right here just to make sure it's real smooth. Do you see how this curling iron just slides through? It's so nice. That's probably what I love most about this curling iron <clears throat> is you can just slide it down the hair and it's not tugging or pulling at all. When I get to this top section, I really make sure that I kind of hold it and pull it down and versus up like this, because again, I can get the hair to be too big if I do that. So I'm gonna twist it. Pull it down and in the front, I really don't hold it there long, for long. This is where I'm really careful to make sure that I don't get these curls too much. I mean, really, really 
quickly. Okay. All right. So now we are here. Okay. I'm going to show you what it all looks like. Hopefully I don't have any straight pieces back there. I might, I don't know, <laughs> but this is where we're at. I still feel a lot of heat right here. So I'm going to kind of let this cool. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my curling iron. Now, as that's cooling, this is the um, setting spray that I use. It's the um, Apre Beach Wave and Shine Spray by Orbe. Um, this is a really great one to shine spray. It gives a lot of shine to the hair. It's very lightweight, and it also helps separate and um, kind of give a PC look to the, to the hair. Um, now, okay, so first... Okay, so we're pretty cooled off. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of run my fingers through. Then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna shake it, and I kind of spray from the bottom. Oh, it smells so good, okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is, depending on what I look, this still feels a little too big for me. It's a little too big, so I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb again, and I'm gonna just kind of comb through. I am gonna comb through because I want kind of softer, I want softer curls, kind of a soft wave to the hair. Okay, so once I have the hair combed, then I'll take my fingers and I'll kind of just play with it a little bit. And you know, I might go back in some places while the curling iron is still hot. Maybe I unplugged it too quick. I'll go back in some places and they're a little too straight and I'll give it a curl. Just kind of play with it until I get it right where I want it. Okay, see this feels good to me. This feels like more of that kind of like, you know, beachy waves. And that's it, that is how I curl my hair. Super simple, um, I don't use a whole lot of product. Again, depending on how dirty it is, I will use more or less dry shampoo. But really the secret, you guys, is this curling iron and this spray, and also having a wide tooth comb, super, super important. I do not use a big paddle brush, or I don't use a brush to comb through my hair um, when I am styling it or curling it second. So I wanted to come back and show you how the hair looks after a few hours. It's been about three or four hours since I styled it this morning. I've filmed a video, I have makeup on, so I felt like having makeup really gives you the whole look also so you can see how the hair looks after it's cooled and kind of been run through a little bit. So this is how I style my hair. This will last me a couple of days. I'll exercise tomorrow morning and depending on how things are looking, I'll probably retouch up a couple areas, but I don't go through this whole process every day. I basically do it. My kind of routine is blow dry, Next day I do this and the next day or two days later, I will just kind of touch up, um, which basically looks like a tweaked down version of what you guys saw in today's video. I'll still do the dry shampoo, I'll still blow out the roots, but instead of curling every single section, I'll just put the hair down and curl what needs to be curled and touched up. I hope you, this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, you know, always feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll always do my best to answer all of them. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.